In recent years, new foods and ingredients have been introduced to our diets. Professor René Crevel is a chair of an LC Europe activity focused on the allergenicity assessment of new protein-containing sources and ingredients coordinated by the Food Allergy Task Force. We will discuss with him today why estimating the potential allergenicity of those ingredients is such an important aspect. Welcome, René, and thank you so much for joining us today. Talking about new proteins and protein sources, why is the allergenicity assessment of those new ingredients so essential? Well, proteins are an essential part of the human diet, as we uh, all know. Unfortunately, the adequacy of protein supply is facing, facing major challenges in coming years because of factors such as the increase in the world's population and global heating. In response to those pressures, uh, many new protein sources have been studied and investigated and introduced to populations which have not actually consumed them before. These are protein sources such as insects, for instance, algae, ancient grains, and so on. The problem with proteins is that they are capable of causing food allergies. And therefore, it's very important that the allergenicity is assessed so that the introduction of those proteins doesn't actually give rise to adverse uh, potential adverse health impacts. So who will benefit most from a clear framework for assessing the allergenicity of those ingredients? Well, in the first instance, I think it will be those people who will be consuming the foods and particularly those people who may fear food allergies arising from them because they will have an assurance of safety. They will know the food is safe because it has been assessed according to a recognized protocol. But of course, those companies introducing and developing these foods will also benefit because they'll have a clear framework in which to assess their allergenicity and to provide this assurance of safety. Thank you very much, René, and see you next time where we will discuss how the ILSI Europe activity on uh, new protein and protein sources can contribute to this field. Thank you. <laughs> if you want to know more about ILSI Europe, go to www.ilsi.eu and follow us on social media. If you wish to know more about the Food Allergy Task Force and its activities, get in touch with us.